times when people ask me what I do, I'm pleased to say I'm a farmer. I like getting my hands dirty. I like the thrill of planting a seed in the ground and watching it grow. And I don't say I'm a vineyardist or a winemaker. I'm that, but I'm a farmer first and last. We raise cattle in the rangeland and we raise culinary herbs and beans. I'm Guinness McFadden. I've been here in Potter Valley farming since 1970. One of the things I'm most proud of that comes out of this farm are the grapes that we grow and the wines that are made from them. Now, when I first came here in 1970, I was the first outsider to uh, produce grapes. People said it was always too cold here, especially in the spring. So um, I decided I'd go ahead and give it a try. I've obviously shown that you can grow grapes in Potter Valley. But it took us 30 some years to become convinced that the quality of our grapes was sufficient to stand on their own. And that's the result of lots of hard work. And it's just thrilling to be able to get to that point. Well, from the very beginning, I didn't think we were gonna be anything but organic. People who were conventional didn't pay much attention to what I was doing. I was a newcomer from New York City in the Navy and drove a Jaguar. They thought there was no hope. We learned how to farm organically and it's what we do. Being organic is important to me for a number of reasons. Number one, I raised my family in the middle of the vineyard. I'm not concerned that anything that we might use could be harmful to my family. And likewise, the people who work here, they're working out in the fields, they know that organic means it's safer. In addition to being organic, the things I read about farming involve people that would utilize the natural resources that were there. The idea of using the power of falling water was always intriguing to me. And so we built a hydroelectric power plant, and after I did that, solar electricity became more popular. And uh, we put in some solar. We're pretty self-sustaining. It all comes from the sun or comes from the hydro. I think one of the key points that separates the grapes that we grow here in Potter Valley from other places is the fact that we have a very dramatic diurnal temperature difference. It can go from 95 degrees at four o'clock in the afternoon to 45 degrees at 6.30 the next morning. And that means that the essential acids in a grape are kept high and the sugars don't go up as high because it's cold. And that's one of the reasons that we produce Riesling, Gewürztraminer, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and Pinot Gris. We also produce Pinot Noir, and we have one other red, which is Zinfandel. It's one of my favorites, actually. Acids are what makes it special. And that's the difference between crummy wine and world-class wine is the acid content. And that's what I think we have here. A year in the life of a grapevine. It starts in January with the pruning, and along about the middle of March, we start the frost protecting, ground maintenance, disking, chopping. Once that's done, the suckering and the leaf thinning, we do that for quite a while into the summer, keeping the vines healthy. Then we get into the great part of the year, harvest time. When we pick a given grape, uh, we'll start at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, and by uh, noon or one o'clock that afternoon, it's in the winery. Harvest lasts about six weeks. And then when harvest is over, we like to have a harvest party. The harvest party isn't just a celebration of the harvest. There's a lot that went on before the harvest. It's really the celebration of the culmination of a whole year in the life of a vineyard that these folks have been instrumental in making success. All of the things we've talked about combine to make our wines really great. I think back on the stuff that we've done to get to this point, and I think that we have achieved something really special here. When I came here 49 years ago, 
The fields were all green and it was just like an oasis and a paradise. This place has its own signature taste that it conveys through the wines. And I've had people who are professional wine tasters tell me they could pick out our stuff in blind tastings because of that. We have a vineyard that produces grapes that make some of the best wines in the world. And it's taken almost 49 years to get from the beginning to where we are now. We still have a ways to go. We're still chugging along and uh, it's a great way to spend uh, a life.